Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see how to export track from Silhouette FX to new. So now we are inside this Silhouette FX here. So first we have to import our footage or plate. So in this source bar, just simply we have to double click. Just select our folder. So inside this folder, this is our sort here. So just open this folder. So this is our actually image sequence here. So downside, you will get this detect sequence option. So just we have to check these options. So this will just collapse all these images here. So this is our main uh, image sequence or plate here. So just we have to select and just we have to click on open. So now here just I am importing this footage inside the layout effects. Then after this we have to create a session from this footage. So for this first we have to select this uh, footage inside this source bar. Then you can press Ctrl N or just simply you can select this footage and just drag and drop inside this tree area here so just select and just drag and drop so same option we will get here so this is our new session dialog box this is your session name inside the template just we have to select this roto and this is your footage information maybe frame size pixel spec ratio durations or total frames and this is your frame rate now just we have to click on ok then in right side we will get these three nodes this is your footage node roto node and output node here so now just we have to play and check our sort here so this is our sort here so this sort just we have to track and just we have to export these tracking data from silhouette fx to new so for this sort just i am going to use mocha tracker for tracking this sort here so in right side downside we will get this object list so first we have to create a new layer then we have to create a shape for the defining area so here just i'm going to use this rectangle and just create and just place in the proper positions so now here after creating your shape just we have to click on this tracker options here now we will get all these main three tracker inside this silhouette effect first this point tracker planar tracker and mocha tracker so for this sort just i am going to use this mocha tracker so just we have to select this mocha tracker here then inside this mocha tracker we will get all these actually motion option translations scale rotation shear perspective so these options actually according to requirement just you have to select but for this sort just i am going to use this translation scale and rotations here these are actually forward track option and backward track options. So according to your plate position, just you have to track forward and backward. So now just I am going to track this sort. So just we have to click on this forward track here. So now here tracking has completed. So maybe this is looking good here. So this shape is just following according to this screen movements here. Then after this, we have to export this tracking data for Nuke. So there are actually multiple options for exporting tracking data from Silhouette FX to Nuke. So first option, simply if you want, you can just select this layer and you can click on export. Then simply you can export this tracking data from Silhouette FX to Nuke. So this is first option because if you will track this shape, so this will just collect your tracking data on this layer here. So that's why just we have to select this layer. Then we have to click on export. Then simply you can save where you want to save. So this is first options here. But here just I am going to use another options. So for this first we will create four tracker from these four points here. For this we have to select all these four points here so just simply select this save and take this reshape tool then select all four points then again we have to click on this tracker tool now we have to come inside this point tracker then we have to right click on any points here so you will get this options here so simply we have to select this create tracker from points here so this will just create four tracker from these selected four points here so now you can see here all these four trackers here 
Now after this, just we have to export tracking data as a corner pane data because just we have to replace this screens. So for this, just we have to select all these trackers. Then we have to click on this export. Now just you can select your location where you want to save this tracking data. So on desktop, just I am going to save then give a file name. Then we have to click on save. Now you will get this dialog box here. So here you are exporting more than one tracker. So now if you will click on this yes. So this will merge all these four tracker and just create a single tracker. Then second option if you will click on this no. So this will export individual tracker with your tracking data. So just we have to click on this yes here. Now after this suppose if you want to also export individual tracker. So again we have to click on this export then just I am going to give a name. Now again we have to click on save and just we have to click on this no. Now just we have to open new and just we have to import all the tracking data inside new. So now we are inside new gear. So same footage or plate just I have also imported inside new. And this is our screen which just I am going to replace with this screen here. So first just I am going to import tracking data which you have exported from Silhouette FX. So for this just we have to open this window. So first we have to import over this first file which is actually just I merge all these four trackers here. Simply just you can select and a drag and drop here. So now if you will see here just I am getting only this single tracker. Now simply just you can connect with this plate and just simply you can double click here. So you can see all these four trackers here. Then same as just we can also import individual trackers which just you have exported from Silhouette FX. So again just simply you can select and just here we can drag and drop here. So now if you will see here we are getting actually four trackers. So now if you want to check this one also so simply first clear all these things. Now if you will connect this first one so just simply double click so you will get this tracker one. Then second one just connect all these trackers here. So you will get this second, then third, then fourth. So according to a requirement, just you have to export all these tracking data from Solid Effect and just you have to use inside new. So next, just I am going to show you here how we can use this tracking data and just simply we can replace this screen inside new. So now before starting your composting work, first we have to uh, define our project settings. Here. So now simply press yes. Now in downside in our this format, just we have to select this 1920 1080s. So according to your footage, so you can see here. So same thing, just we have to define in your project settings here. So in this full format size, just I have selected same size, which is 1920 1080. Now after this again, this is our original plate here. Just we have to replace this screen and just we have to insert this screen. So this is actually another video which just I want to insert into our this mobile here. So this is just only for reference. So here this is our original plate here. Then after this just uh, I have removed this uh, white screen from this mobile. So this is our actually after removing this white screen from this mobile. So this is our output here. So now after this just I am going to place another screen here. So for this first I am going to take a, a checkerboard here. So simply what we can do. So press tab and take a just checkerboard. Then double click here. So this format, so same as your footage because I have already defined inside project settings. Now what we have to do? So simply just we have to take a merge node. So press M. So B, B means just we have to uh, background, just we have to connect with the checkerboard. And A input just we have to connect with this after removing your screen. So this is our actually output after removing this screen here. And this is our original plate. So one and two. So with the help of simple method, just I have removed this screen. Now just we have to view over this merge. So select this one and press one. So you can see here. Then after this, what we have to do? So a little bit if you want to adjust this rotation, then you can take a transform node. So simply just you can select, press T and just if you want, you can just adjust this rotations here. Now if you will uh, play, so you will see actually this uh, checkerboard is not following according to over this screen movement here. So just simply we have to use over this tracking data. So simply just we have to connect after this screen here. Then we have to double click. Now we are inside our this tracker tab here. 
so now just we have to check this rotation scale for all four trackers here okay so just simply we have to enable then after this we have to click on the transform tab and in transform just we have to select this match mode and set to this frame as a reference frame so simply that we can click so you can see here now after this just simply we can play and check so now just play and check just little bit minimize this one so easily we can see so now here if you will see actually this checkerboard is just following according to our this mobile movement here or this screen's movement here after this suppose if you want to replace this checkerboard with any screen then simply you can take so now just i am going to use this screen here so for this what we can do so again just we can move it here and just remove all these things first just we have to reformat this screen according to our this main footage format so you can see this screen size which is 1280 720 so first we have to reformat this one so press tab and then take a reformat node and just simply we can connect then after this just we have to connect with this tracker so now again just uh, we have to check our this output so simply we have to select this one press 1 so you can see now again what we can do so maybe if you want you can also define this first frame as a reference frame so again just you can double click here then go to transform then you can set this one here then after this if you will see actually just we are not getting our entire uh, this screen whatever screen you want to insert inside this so for this what we can do so before this tracking data we can use another transform node so simply just select this reformat node and press t t for transform node and just you can just resize so you can see this one here even if you want to adjust this perspective then you can also use corner pin node so again simply you can press tab and just you can use corner pin node so simply you can connect then you can adjust all these points and just you can also adjust this perspective so according to a requirement you can use this transform even corner pinning so again you disable this one press d here now just we have to also play and check so now simply you can see so this is screen is also following according to but this main uh, mobile movements here and this is just matching here then after this suppose if you are feeling maybe this screen is little bit slipping then what you can do so simply just uh, uh, after this transform or before this tracking data you can use another transform node so again press tab and just you can take a transform node just you can connect transform then you can animate all these parameters here so simply you can animate this maybe set key then rotation then scale even just simply you can right click here and set keys on all nodes here then simply you can animate this as also if there is any requirement now simply just we have to play and check finally so now here if you will see simply just i have replaced this skin using silver effects and new so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching